Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are starting today's video off working on the MR2. So I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me, you know, you know, where's the MR2? Do you still have the MR2? Yes, I still have the thing. We've just been so busy with the Chaser you see, trying to get that thing sorted and dialed into what I would like. And the Chaser is getting there. It's slowly getting there. Just got an exhaust for the thing. Need to do a couple things like get new wheels, tires, and also have a turbo kit that we need to install, but that won't come till later. In today's video, we're going to be doing a suspension kit on the MR2. So so as it currently sits, the MR2 only has coilovers, doesn't have any sort of lower control arm spaces or anything or roll center adjusters. And you see, when you lower a car, there are cons to it. I'll try to explain it to the best of my abilities, but when you lower a car, your suspension arms go from this to this because they're traveling up into the guard. Now there are negatives to that because that means that the arms, the control arms, aren't gonna move as they were intended. So they're gonna move around all floppy and weird and they're not gonna move up and down as the manufacturer intended. And that's gonna cause in some weird steering feels such as bump steer. And what that means is when you travel over a bump, your wheel is gonna rotate back and forth. You see, that's the thing that you don't want. You wanna avoid that. But unfortunately, when you lower your car, it's just one of the things that happens. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to be installing a Wilhelm suspension geometry kit. I want to say a massive thank you to Alex Wilhelm for sponsoring the kit for me. There are plenty of people around Australia, around the world that have used this kit and have had really good results from using it. I'm going to get all the pieces out for the kit, then we'll start jacking the car up and then removing the suspension entirely. And we also have poly bushes for the suspension as well. And I've got a friend coming around to help me install that because he's got a press kit. His name's Jacob and he also owns an MR2. Alright, so we have the car up in the air now and we're going to start removing all the wheels because we need to remove the wheels to get to the suspension, of course. I do need some new wheels for this thing, so if you guys have wheels, please let me know. Um, I'd like to buy some off you. Shabam! And wheels are now off the car. So, in order for you guys to get a better understanding, I'm going to show you and you can see the suspension over in here. Yeah, that doesn't really show you anything. <laughs> Uh, so I reckon the first thing we do is unbox this Prothane box. This is going to be the not so fun job of today, pressing the old bushings out. I really, really don't want to have to do it, but luckily Jacob's going to help us out. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to use the MR2 as a shelf. A box inside a box. Oh, two boxes inside a box. Oh, I mean ring. Two man rings. So on Prothane's website, it also said this kit was only for MR2s from 1991 to 1995. I've gone ahead and risked it for you, so we're going to find out to see if this kit is going to fit my car because my MR2 is in 1997, so hopefully it all fits. Looks like we have some bushing lubrication as well. It's like the angel sound effect. Hey guys, there you go, so we have some polyurethane bushings. Should be much better than the rubber ones that are in there currently. Fingers crossed it fits. What's going on, dude? Oh, look what we got here. Jacob, what's happening, dude? What's up, man? Damn, nice wheels, my dude. Cheers, man. Ooh, still looking clean and fresh like oh, the last yeah. time I saw it. <laughs> Look at the shirt he's got on, boys. Yeah. Nice. Hells yeah. Today. Cheers, bro. So you want to see the engine? Oh, let's have a sus. So for those who don't know Jacob, what he's been doing, well, what he's done in the last since the last time I saw him is he's taken the engine completely out and oh my, oh my God. Dude, Lachlan, come look at this. <laughs> so he's refreshed everything. All right, so he's taken everything apart, painted everything, have a sus of this. That's like a this brand is, new 3SG. Yeah. yeah, she is. Holy crap. Yeah, damn, <laughs> dude. <Thousand case. laughs> Holy moly. Look at this, guys. MR2s are practical, aren't they, Jacob? Oh, yeah. This is this has got more boot space than my MX-5. Oh, really? Like, are you serious? Way more boot Bru space. The MX-5, Bru like, <laughs> it comes up to here. Yeah. Like, that's how deep it goes. So Rex is driving my MR2. I'm keen, bro. I'll turn off the AC for more power. <laughs> dude, that starts like crazy. Like I remember my 3SG, right? That's like a... really. <laughs> yeah. Installs easy. There you got it. Oh, oh what? <laughs> dude, the flywheel in this is cooked. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Dude, it feels so much smoother than what I remember. Oh yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't have like VDTI or yeah. something. Yeah, your steering feels a million times better. All right, so we're going to start off with the front first because apparently, according to Jacob, it's the hardest. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to start off with that because there is a bushing there that is, it has a metal bit around it, right? Side of middle sleeve, so push out the sleeve. So the first thing we're going to do is start removing all the suspension components. Um, just this bar here 
and the one at the back here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Not really much room to get the camera in there because this camera's so big. We'll just take it out with one piece. Yep, so one massive piece. There's a strike bar and then there's the control arm so we'll take it out with one piece. Yeah, mad. Seems like it's only like one bolt there, one bolt there, and then another three or two on top or something like that. Yeah, two Yeah, mad. Having fun, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Come on. Might need to use the rubber hammer. You know what? I'll just start this one. Uh, how you going, bro? Not having fun. You're not having fun? That's not like you, Lachlan. How the fuck did you do this? I just made sure that they're not going to come out of all, you know? All right, so we are being efficient as hell. We have all hands on deck. We've just removed the front suspension. Jacob is now pressing these bushings out. Oh, look at this kit, bro. Look at this, dude. <laughs> Working? Now it is, yeah. It's like it's like half out, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, because how small this bushing is, yeah. I can't use any of these. See, like, these, are, these are huge. You got yeah. this all in the kit. Oh yeah. my god! So I just got a small bolt, yeah. see that nut there, and a couple of washers, and that's pressing uh, the bushing out. Bad. Yeah. We have a whole selection of washers on that on that shelf over there. I don't know if you saw, but yeah, <laughs> I think I saw them. This one's probably the easiest one to do. Out of everything. Um. Yeah. This. Control arm on the front and rears are the easiest to do, so okay. what I'm crossing out now. It's just funny because we're all MR2 specialists in a way. We've all removed MR2 engines, we've all done suspension stuff. It's we know this like the back of our back of our hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh there we go. <laughs> Good job. She's out, bro. There you go guys, here's the suspension. Front suspension, super simple. Got a pushing you out. That's one. Control arm. Hell yeah, dude. This is how it's going so far. Lachlan's removing the rear suspension, I'm removing the front. Then it's going down to Jacob and he's removing all the bushings because he's the expert with this all. So while we're here all doing this work, I'm going to show you the Wilhelm suspension kit. So thank you again, Alex from Wilhelm Racing. So he sent me over this kit and it comes with everything you need to correct your suspension, your bump steer and everything. So there's been a lot of scientific experiments done for the MR2 because he personally owns a 2GR swapped one. So this is what you get in the kit. There's a whole bunch of different bags and everything. It also comes, of course, with some instructions as well. So we're going to look at that. Um, yeah, this is a pretty expensive kit. So we've got to make sure that we put this all together right. We've been going at this for like, what, 20 minutes now? We finally got it started. We got it started. Watch us, watch you just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Hang on, let me get my- it's Coming out. <laughs> oh. Fire out. You can't do this with one person. How did you do this, dude? Always lube up. All right, I think it's time for a little update. Jacob and I have managed to take the hard bushings out. So the ones that have like a metal ring around them that I know a lot of people, what they do is they get a saw and they you know, go right through the bushing and then they start sewing that metal piece to get it out. But we managed to use the press. We there it is. We took it out. Yeah, One whole piece. It's crazy. <laughs> so these are the, the two bad ones. Something I noticed about Rex's bushings. Yeah. They're all pretty gone. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Jacob's so, just showing me how crappy my suspension is. So if you look at this bushing, so it's split there. Oh yeah, that's bad, bro. That one's not bad. But yeah, that, <laughs> that one's split. Yeah. Perished. You can see like how old the rubber is. So be really sloppy. Ah, yeah, that, that explains everything. And yeah, on, same on the other side. Middle bushing here. Yeah. All cracked. Oh yeah. So that's... you can tell that's 25 year old rubber. Yeah, it's not good, and bro. That, that's also split. And I also noticed. Yeah. I don't know what happened here, but that's gone. <laughs> it's been dented in. I don't know how. Lachlan, for some reason, had these in my garage, and he's had them for a couple of probably a couple of months now. Oh, and over a year. Over a year. I'm taking these off Lachlan and using them for myself and then have to get some new ones for Lachlan but we're going to put these ones in as well and then the Wilhelm suspension kit I need to do a lot of reading over I'm sort of trying to organize everything front and rear yeah it should be pretty easy going from there this is how many dudes it takes to remove a bushing oh. <laughs> yeah the dogs they did it the time has come. We finally have finished removing all the bushings from the uh, suspension. So look at that. It's, it's, it's done. I'm so happy. That took much longer than I anticipated it to take. Blood, sweat, tears. Okay, maybe not tears, but dude, thank you so much. No worries, man. I appreciate it appreciate so it. much, dude. No he helped me out so much. Without him, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you guys want to check out some MR2 MX5 stuff, Go to his Instagram, I'll leave it on the screen right here. From the rest of this stuff, it's pretty easy going. 
Um, we just need to put the uh, new bushings in. They're literally, you don't even need to do anything to it. Just do you? Just with your hand. Yep. Um, so I'll yeah, they're, they're split you. into two pieces. Yeah, I'll quickly show you. Make sure to loop them up really good because they'll squeak like crazy. Yep. Um, so you just grab the two ends and you put them in like that. Oh, man. Like that? Yeah, probably it push in. in a little bit, yeah. And then you use your palms to squeeze it in. Yeah. And, oh, another thing. So all these, these go in the middle. Um, so you press these in with the vise. But make sure you press the right ones in. So what I did was, for example, for this bush, I try out this one, so I get the bolt. Oh, right, so the, it'll only go into... It'll only go into one bolt, so you got to make sure it's the right one. Yeah. Um, so... So it's obviously not the right one then. And that is, yes. Yeah, and you'll sweet. know if, if it's the right one, like, it goes in pretty easy and there's no, no play. Yes, yeah, So you're just going to make sure it's the right one. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And the most important part is the, the grease. So yes. don't grease it, it'll squeak. <laughs> Catch you later, my dude. See ya. Hey guys, so it's the next day now and we've got a few new people. Well, actually, just Naki. Naki's over now. And he's working on his DC2 and it's really hot here in Melbourne today. Look what we've done. <laughs> we've put a beach umbrella for him to work on the uh, the car in shade. There you go, bro. It's got the beach umbrella. <laughs> Dude, Naki, come here, stand underneath it. <laughs> That's so funny, holy crap. So Naki's just doing a uh, VTEC solenoid gasket for his B18. Yeah, sweet. Very easy to work in this car, isn't it? Yeah, three ten wheels. Yeah, sweet. That's it. Easy. This is pretty sturdy as well. Got a nice umbrella holder. Nice. <laughs> Where we're at right now is we have to push all the ball joints out of the suspension arms. So the reason why we got to do this as well because we have some new ones sitting around. We also have the tools somewhere laying around, but there's a tool that you need to use in order to press these out because they're sort of like press fitted in there as well as locked in with a castle nut. As you can see, so we're gonna go around and do that. Hopefully it's pretty easy from there, but. Well, we're using this tool, it's a ball joint press tool, and it works really good when you got good ball joints, so. I mean, when you got proper control arms that fit into this gap right here, so. The control arm didn't fit properly into this gap, so it kind of, kind of yeah, sort of destroyed it a little bit there, but it's okay, because we're using a hammer, and that seems to have worked. All right, so I've managed to put the new ball joints in. Everything's looking really good. I've set out everything for a thumbnail shot. And here is most of the parts here. The Wilhelm suspension kit, we've got parts over there and we've got other parts here, but this is some of it. We've still got some of the suspension kit over there too. And some of the bushings over here. This is not everything, but here you go. Here's a good look at all the ball joints that are being pressed in. You can see it's all good. We've got the cotter pins on there as well. Cutter pins at the back too with the brand new ball joints. I'm, I'm super happy with how this all looks. I do need to do some. I do need to do some mild painting as well because there's some rust um, that could potentially form around the exposed metal. So we got to do all that. But I am extremely excited to see what happens when we put this kit in and to feel it because, like I said at the start, the suspension felt very sloppy and unpredictable. But now we've got all the bushings and it should feel pretty good. And we will track this car very soon. I'm so excited to track this thing. I think the boys have gone off to buy some parts for the DC2. But Naki is now finished working on this thing. He's got the VTEC solenoid all buttoned up and there is no leaks at all anywhere. This thing's looking really nice and clean now. I'm super happy with how far Naki's come with this engine just slowly chipping away at all the oil leaks and all that so that's pretty cool so what i'm going to do is start painting all these things with a little bit of touch-up paint or maybe just spray can them just very just to sort of cover up all the little bits exposed over here because we don't want any of this rusting over time and then we'll then we'll put all the bushings in and just install everything. Uh, the Wilhelm suspension kit's gonna be a little bit of a hassle because there's a lot of things that we need to put and I don't know if we put washers on the bottom of these arms and everything, so I'm gonna have to maybe message Alex or really read the instructions properly. Here's a good look at under the car. The exhaust is still holding up really well. Suspension is all out, so we got still quite a lot of work to do with this thing. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I hope it sort of makes sense from... So I think we're gonna end today's video here because we've just done so much in the current video and I thought I'd split it up in two bits one disassembling everything one getting all the bushings out and another installing everything so in the next video we're going to install everything on the MR2 hopefully get all the bushings in and test drive the thing hopefully super excited I will catch you all in the next one see ya